Okay, so you drop me off at rehearsal, and then pick me up, and we'll go straight to work, and then after I have to go back to rehearsal. So I'm gonna drop you off at home, okay? Yes. Yes, okay. Cool. Okay. You're gonna kill it, by the way. I mean, you seem so calm for such a big audition. I'm over here nervous to try out my new laugh and bring it to everyone. Do you wanna try it one more time? <sighs> okay, feed me the line. It's not even the half of it, baby girl. <laughs> It's so good. Thank you. It feels really good. How'd it go? It was good. Um, you know, the... I mean, it's so in and out that it's like the casting directors probably don't have much time to give feedback, so they don't give Oh my feedback, god! So I figured that... We just got tickets for Ellen. What? Tickets for Ellen! I just got an email confirmation! What? Two guaranteed tickets for Ellen on February 6th. Wait, February 6th? That's like four months away. That's like half a year. Almost. Yeah, yeah like that'll be 2017. I'm gonna be like a whole new person. Yeah. But I mean, I'm still stoked. Yeah. Dude, what's wrong? Four months is not that far away. No. Do you ever think about by the time we're on a big TV show or a movie that Ellen will be retired and will never be on her show? I know, I know, that was way longer than I Dude, said it was going to we be. we got up like 20 minutes ago. What were you doing? I have rehearsals at 6. I know, but it's literally like right around the corner, so I think we'll go. Wait, wait, wait. What? I told Dimitri we could give him a ride. Who's Dimitri? The line cook? Yes. Why did you promise him that we'd give him a ride? Because he looked like he'd been crying. Again, why did you promise him that we'd give him a ride? Because I'm not a heartless beast and he asked me to! Life has little to no meaning. Hey, no, that's not true. Life has tons of meaning. No, not for Dimitri. I lose my job in the kitchen because I'm biting nails over the banana cream pie. <laughs> and my wife is filing for the divorce and also the one with the orange spray tan is about to be ruler of free world. It's not good. Well, I wouldn't say that that stuff has no meaning. Yeah, and as far as I know, none of the Kardashians are running for president, so you don't have to be worried about the new rulers of the free world. But I lose my home because my wife is kicking me out, and I cannot afford the, the, the expensive bills to get place of my own, and the only bright spot, and it is a bright spot in life, is that I am going to be living with you too, and I thank you for this. It's very nice. Oh, thank you for stopping. And Dimitri has to use pee-pee room. I'll be right back. You told him he could live with us? No, no, I did not tell him that, okay? Right. It just must be some weird Russian custom that when you're offering up a ride, you're like offering up your home. That is not a Russian custom. That is not any custom. You know what, I don't even have time for this. I have rehearsals in 15 minutes and I finally won them over with my laugh. Uh, it's you... a really good laugh. I know, so you have to figure out this whole thing because you must have said something for him to think that he could live with us. Otherwise he's some psychotic crazy person and... Surprise! <laughs> Dimitri, da. do you remember that one time that I asked you to live with us? Of course I do. How could I forget the words of my savior? <laughs> right. So, uh, Alexa was just asking about that story, and I know how much you love it. Right. So I was wondering if you wanted to tell her and I how all of that happened. Of course. So, Alexa, there I was, sitting outside of kitchen, crying like a baby, bereft of all hope for the future, when suddenly this lamb, my friend, came up to me and she said, oh, hang on one second, this is my telephone. Oh my God, it's her, it's my wife. It's Hello? Yes? It, what? Oh, truly? 
<laughs> you mean it, my love. All right, this is happy day. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll be right there. Oh, there is a big man in the sky who is believing in good things. I have to go. I'm sorry, I cannot be roommates. I will see you. It's very cold outside with t-shirt. Can I have right? What did I say to make him think he was going to live with us? Man, I'm PMSing hard today. 